Here we go. I'm Fernando with Fab TV. Here with uh, awesome Jason Schwartzman. And did you make a special voice for Jesper? In what way? Like it seemed like you're. It's like I know your voice. Yeah. And he seemed like I was watching. It seemed yeah. like a little different. To you. Well, I, you know, we were definitely experimenting uh, with voices um, and just all the different levels of this character. Um, and really, we even tried some like totally different voices. Um, I love Sergio, the director. He's like, you know what? Let's just go into the studio and record for a day and let's hone in on what seems to be working. And in fact, when we went into the first two or three sessions, we had labeled Jesper 1, Jesper 2, and Jesper 3. And they were very different characters with slightly different voices and cadences and um, it was so fun. I've never worked like that before. Like typically the idea is like when you show up to work, you've kind of got some idea of what's gonna, this was like three vastly different mm. things and it was so fun. I mean, one of them I almost think was English-ish. Mm. It was like very, you know, and it was so fun to explore it and I think all that was necessary to kind of figure out what this character was, but then the weird thing is this, you know, an animated movie, like we did this over the course of many years, sometimes there's gaps, big gaps between when you go back in and it's like, it's so weird because you watch it back and you go, whoa, I sounded like that two months ago? You know, and I think that the voice kind of comes out of um, uh, just uh, messing with your own voice a little bit and trying to be natural, but also be uh, a jerk. Yeah. I Good guess, job being a jerk. I guess. Like, <laughs> but it really was fun. It's fun to find it. You can't do that in a live action movie. Do you? No. So you did customize his voice. Character. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, 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 for sure. And speaking of customizing it, because it's just your voice that you're yeah. using, when you're pushing that like buggy up the hill, yeah. what are you doing to make yourself act like to, okay. like, I'm pushing something? Well, so one thing that I learned early on was I'm not a trained actor and a uh, voice per and screaming and making ex like tons of exertions, ah, I lose my voice like very quickly. So we saved any type of physical exertion, grunting, screaming, always for the end of the sessions. Mm. Um, so I would do all my talking because these particular things, pushing something up a hill, was hard for me to do. So what I would do is oftentimes hold my breath jump up and down a lot of times, and then I would try to pick up something really heavy and then just really do it. And then deliver it. Yeah. Got it. Uh, you know, but that is the fun thing about doing a voice for something is like, um, you are, it's a collaboration between you and the animators. Like, I'm just doing this voice, you're making him look and move, and, and uh, it's really f fun. I just, my goal always is just to provide some kind of spirit for them to be able to feel that they could draw. For, for it. At least you had some Isle of Dog experience to come into this one, right? In what way? Uh, doing, didn't you do voice on some oh, yeah, dog yeah. stuff? So. Well, yeah, yeah, I, uh, but, stuff, well, so. yeah, yeah, I, uh, but it's different, you know, those things are different, like um, the West uh, animation, the script's done, usually, and so you just go in and you can hammer it out in a few days, whereas this is years of kind of finding it and animating it, and so it's a, it's a different process, um, all together, but it's it's so f I love it because on a movie set when I've worked, I t I get very nervous. Like everyone's standing around, they look at you, and they like everyone's like J I don't know I don't like, I don't like the quiet quiet. Everyone quiet on the set. Right, Let's right, watch. Right. I, but I like the recording studio because it's just you and like two people. My last little question, real quick. Yeah. You were like in the, 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 in the animation. He's like laying down with the, the food. Yes yes and yes. So are you doing some physicality to bring out the voice differently? Because you 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 don't you don't give a beep. You know? I, I think in truth you I should you should and like uh, and I try to as much as possible. But sometimes you can't do certain things because the mic has to be mm. whatever. But I think by and large, like for me best to always try to emulate exactly what's happening or else cool. it just feels like crap. You did an awesome job. Thank you so much. Cole. I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Cole. I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank Great you. to meet you. You did an awesome job.